It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, man. I'm here with my boy, Trill Talk, man. It's going down. East Texas in the building. What's going on, man? Nothing much, man. We got a... Uh... Man, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, nigga. You just got here and you already messing up, nigga. We finna put you off the show. I ain't got time for today, Trill Talk. Man. <laughs> I don't want to ruin your... Your legacy. <laughs> hey, man, we got my boy KD Flame in the building, yeah, man. Yeah. What's going on, man? Thank What's you for coming down? on Boss man, Talk 101, you. man. I got a question before we get started. Go ahead. Who, who was that on that intro? That's somebody from Longview, Texas. You don't even know, that's right. Come hey, on, man. Big shout out to XO. Come on, man. Hey, Texas, hey, man. Listen, man, it'd be, I'm from East Texas. XO from East Texas. You from East Texas. Trill Talk from East Texas. We putting East Texas in there where it's supposed to be. You that's know right, what I'm saying? Good. So, that's I mean, right, I, I think when I first came uh, uh, up with this platform and stuff, I think people didn't realize the bridges was about to be, you know, we were to make some uh, bridges instead of walls and bring everything together. You know what I'm saying? You did it how it's supposed to be done. Man, everybody been on the show. East Texas, uh, Dallas, uh, Houston, uh, man, uh, Florida, D.C., Chicago. We got people coming today from Chicago. There are people flying in. Boss Talk 101 is the hottest thing in the South right now. <laughs> Straight Real like talk. <laughs> Other than the trail talk, no pill talk. No, bro, I'm just saying. You, you don't agree with that? What else hotter? <laughs> right we, can we can debate it. We about Nick and Nick. I don't know, man. I like I like. I'm talking about the growth. numbers. Look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie. Hey, I mean, hey, hey, what, what was funny yeah. how you looked at me when you said that? Like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, we working, right though. Because if we don't think it, who going to think it? Man, I tell you what, man. Uh, before we get started on what? Me and Trio I got going on, man. I just want to give you flowers publicly, man. Dope interviews with Melvin, man, Faison, man. You know what I'm saying? I Them just told hey, you man. before we started that mic interview. That's something that. I want to see as a consumer, just like, who is this dude right here? Yeah, you know man, thank you, man. Not on, you know, just not on that, I receive it, bro. Like, it ain't easy. Hey, first of all, thank you for even acknowledging me, man. You know, uh, for real. a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? You can either, you can e either ride with us or collide with us, man. You know, me and Trill Talk, we came in this thing and uh, uh, we we kind of we came in about the same time. Yeah. We kind of shook the, shook the volume up of how things was being done in the whole, whole blog world, I believe, you know. Uh, and not in a bad way, in a positive way. But when you do something like what's happening with Boss Talk, what's happening with Trill Talk, No Pill Talk, uh, it changes the, the way that people are looking at the whole algorithm of yeah. how things are being displayed in each city. Yeah. And so people going to look at it and, and they're going to take it wherever they want to take it. It right. can be I like it or man them, them niggas ain't them niggas them niggas ain't respectful. They don't I heard a lot of stuff about Boss Talk like they don't bring it he don't bring on the Dallas or he don't bring on the young new artists or he don't bring East Texas. He he only picks certain I don't hear so much but at the end of the day what I can't do is focus on that. I focus on the work. You can only do so much. I focus on the work. You know what I'm saying? The so. work. I think the work is important. If you don't work, you don't eat. That's yeah. biblical, nigga. Go get your Bibles. T D Jakes. So what what you you said you like that you like the Melvin phone. Melvin to call me yesterday, man. That's my boy, man. Now like, just the fact that you had, you know, cause that, that's big, man. Yeah. Like, that somebody like that from a whole different state. I brought him down, yeah. but really to try to bridge the gap. You know, yeah, I, I seen your movement, man. I seen you get upset a lot of times and, and do freestyle, man. You know, you come off real, real Aggressive. Like, nigga, uh, nigga, you yeah. know, I like that though. I'm a real nigga. You know I, mean? <laughs> I don't be getting no set though. <laughs> you just but. doing something to just get in there and get that get that yeah, work in. That's just the that's just that's just the energy behind some of the music, you know. Like yeah. when you listen to some music, you know, you have your laid back music, but sometimes people want to hear something that they can feel. You know what I'm saying? So now, where, where you from? Longview. Nah. You from Jefferson? Nah. I'm you from, from uh, Lone Star? Nah. Let me keep guessing. You from Kilgore? Nah, you never guess where I'm from. Uh, you from, uh, hold on. New I got Diana, this nigga. Man. New Diana. Yeah. Damn it, boy. Yeah. I never guessed that. Yeah, nobody would. Man, I graduated with like 56 people. Damn it, boy. Smile, smile, time. So, New Diana, how was it, like, coming up? Did you come up with, with both your parents, or was it just you? Nah, my dad died when I was... Your dad passed early, away? Early, like, two, three years old. Yeah. You was, So, you really didn't ever really... You knew your granddaddy, more than likely. Nah, my granddaddy was dead, too. Damn. 
It was just my mom and my granny, man. So you were raised with mom and grandma? Yeah. Grandma, was was she cool or was she one of them hard? The coldest, man. The she coldest. whoop a nigga or she let a nigga make it? She, man. Grandma, you let you make it. Go to Jefferson and ask about my grandma. They'll tell you about her. What's uh, your grandma's name? Betty Joe Dayton. She was bad, she was bad off when it come to whooping. Did, did, would she get a whole day? She was tough. She get a whole day. But she, she was cool with me. Yeah, she wasn't late. Man, my favorite thing about my granny, if I would tell somebody, it'd be like, you know, the kids that people thought were bad kids. Yeah. She used to like them type of mm -hmm. kids. She used to see stuff in them kids, man. Really? For so real. she 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 look at the ones who've been through the most. Yeah, and they ended up being some of the best people too. For real. Yeah. And at you the know. end of the day, man, that's the most important thing that 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 you get that infrastructure, that support, man. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, East Texas, man, you know, like I said, um, you know, a lot of niggas don't know, man. Uh, at night is dark. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, these niggas don't know how dark it get at night in East Texas. <laughs> they used to the lights. See, you know what I mean? See, I used to run from the laws and cut the lights off, and yeah. then they didn't even see me no more. Yeah. One night I did that and hit a tree over there right across from uh, from where the Dairy Queen set. On 59, Harry and them were trying to catch me. And I, and I jumped out that hole and ran over to O.C. Smith and them house. And oh, yeah. <laughs> through them woods. Man, you're going to incriminate yourself. <laughs> no, nah, it's over with. I mean, Harry done got busted now. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Right. You're right, you're right about that. Yeah. <laughs> These laws be getting busted. That would be funny to me. They yeah. be trying to take a nigga out. And then, boom, they go. You know, but at any rate, man, I, it was tough, man, growing up because a nigga had to come. A nigga love to get that money in the country, man. Yeah, that's what they do down there. Yeah, and nigga don't get that money, he, you know, he, he gonna be bored and get, make a lot of babies. Yeah, <laughs> for real. So what's up, man? Talk to me, Trio Talk. Man, so man, what 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 album we waiting on right now, man? It's I'm, been a while, bro. It's, it's been, been a, while. a hell of a while. About ten months looking at that YouTube. I'm trying to figure out what you doing. You taking man. a vacation? Nah, man, I got some coming, man. The way I feel like I just put everything into this music right now. Like, I look back at it, I said, I know where I'm at musically with it. So I want to make sure I got all my music legal. I got the best sound I can get, the best production I can get. And when this come out in a couple of weeks, we're going to see what it do. I'll be out. It's in a couple of weeks it's going to yeah. come out? What's the name of that other project? I still ain't got the name yet. I'm still tinkering you around tripping. with the name right now. Just don't call it no name. Nah, man, I might, call it, go. I might call it the Durden Project. I'm not sure right now, though. We're going to see. Yeah, because like I said, it, it's, it's important to keep, in this digital world, you got to keep something going, man. Yeah, but good music always going to be good music, though. No. People always going to gravitate so to you, it. So you think it's like, okay, like Sean Cotton say, uh, rappers, put the music out. Don't be trying to, you know, like hold on to it. Be world. romantic with it. Yeah, go and put it out. You don't feel like sometimes you got to put something out? Yeah, sometimes. You know, you always gotta, if you have a core audience or a fan base that, that you, you wanna feed them, you know, but it's all about your perception, you know? Well, I think, I think. I, I kinda follow people who, who I can see myself patterning what I'm trying to do after, you know? Who is, who is that? Like mentor, do, do, who would you look mentors, up to? Mentors, I don't, I don't. I mean like musically, the artists yeah, that yeah, I enjoy. Yeah, that, that's, I, I look up to certain people like if I was, uh, I'm a Joe Rogan fan on podcasts. I like Joe Rogan too, but but I'm just saying I can say that I I would love to to take my platform there. So the way he doing it, mm -hmm. I, I try to you know look at him. So who would you say somebody in, in in music like you you were just saying that you really would say okay that's the way I kind of want to lay mine out too. It may not be the same way, but I definitely love what they're doing. I mean you could you could. You could put a lot of the Houston artists in there, our Houston legends. You could put a lot of them in that category for me. You know, uh, just how they independently grind it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it That's real. It might have took a little bit longer for some of them to get there, you know, but eventually they got what they was looking for. I like ESG you know from last week. Like, like ESG the homie. I just like the way way his movement was, even though everything, everybody that he, he didn't always get his just do or they they, they made it because of where he was from he kind of never fit where he was at you kind of making my point though like yeah. when i said like good music people are gonna gravitate to what they like and who they like yeah like you you're a subscriber you're a fan of esg yeah and it would be fair to say that he not as consistent as some people are with music but it's so saturated in the market it's a lot of people that are super consistent with dropping content and people don't hear it or care 
Yeah, but then you gotta understand that was a different time. I was talking about with ESG when Ocean of Funk and all that stuff was yeah. coming out. You you had you didn't have a lot of rappers back then. Nowadays, I don't think I, I agree that you got to be careful on what type of stuff that you put out. But you need to be putting some out because of social media being free. It may not be music. It may be just something. Yeah, content. It may be something to where yeah. people it's just know because it's people out here that's waiting to see something because they're fans and it's. A oversaturated market, of course, but you artistic. And like I said, certain things that you do, people gonna gravitate to. Right. No matter what it is. Right. Hell, you could hell maybe write a letter every day on 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 whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? Whatever you doing, they gonna watch you because they fans. Yeah, I, 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 that's you something feel, I need. I need me? to get better with this. Yeah, me people, myself, I need to get better. Yeah, because people it. love you. Like yeah. the ones who love you, love you. Yeah. And then you leave them hanging. You leaving them hanging, right? I don't want to say it like that. Yeah, really. it's the truth. <laughs> what he's doing? That's what he's doing. I don't want to say it. See, like months we been like, damn, my nigga, he was hard when he came out. Nigga, we suffering over. We want some something. Yeah. yeah what my boy doing? I'm sending T-shirts out to two or three people on this side. Da, 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 da. I do things like that though. You know, yeah. like I do things like that just to let people know, like you know, the support is appreciated. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I, I, I try to, but, you know, it's just something I need to get better at as an artist. Yeah. Point yeah. blank. Period. No, no. I ain't really too many excuses for that. Yeah, you know, I think that's why, you but know. But as for dropping projects all the time, like, I, I, I y'all would have to convince me that that's really. No, 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 no. You know, I, I don't. Lie. I don't know, though. I, I, I probably would try. I try. Who your favorite? If you was just to, like, man, I'm riding down the highway, I could listen to this person that, that do hip hop. Who would you say yours is? Right now, that ain't got to be your favorite person. Just like man, I like him. Ald three hundred. Yeah, my homie. Shout out to the homie. Cause that man. nigga working. Yeah, and he drop that nigga drop all the time. Yeah. See, you can't. I don't even want to do that. Cause that's my dog. So no, I don't I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, that dropping, nigga working. Work, yeah, dropping them back. And, and he, he called me yeah. and be like, he'll be benefited him. from and it. And I be like, nigga, hey, you look, dropping man. another one already? Hey, look, man, just out the love. I don't have no rebuttal on that conversation <laughs> with my partner, man. You know what I'm saying? That I mean, you asked me. That's my seven o'clock in the morning friend, bro. <laughs> but like if you go and, and plug it, and look at my plug in my truck, it's gonna be LD. In my company truck, it's gonna be LD because he gave me something. Give me somebody else though. <laughs> Give me somebody else though. Um, who who always just always just dropping something? Nah, they ain't the gotta be dropping music. I'm just saying somebody else you could get. I call listen to all yeah. the time. Um, it could be Smoothie, one of them. I listen to Smoothie. I yeah. listen to Smoothie a lot. Muddy Waters, that's one of them. But um, yeah, you finna prove his point. What you mean? I ain't gonna say that because he from East Texas. Smoothie, so nah, I'm nah, not nah, saying yeah. Smoothie, Smoothie, I ain't dropped a project in a long time. But he though. dropping music See, all the time. Yeah, but he, that's what I was gonna say. When he, if he would have said, well, he ain't dropped. You no, know, Smoothie dropped the last project like February twenty twenty one. Yeah, but he's still dropping some every time. Dropping all the time. Something. Yeah, he gonna keep he it in their face. Yeah, it ain't me. hard to work because you got age. I D. think you sleeping on me a little bit, bro. I be, I be dropping too. I got a little motion, man. Uh, you know, man, I'm supposed to see that whole come across. He supposed to tag me in. Yeah. Hey, man, you know. This nigga will tag me in hey, everything that coming out of these things. He don't miss nothing. Shit like that got me looking at him side eye too. Like, hey, man, this. What? Uh, when the last white. time you tagged me in something that can't be dropped? Last time he put something out of When was that? Oh, matter of fact, we can pull that. Yeah, what I'm talking about. I got a song right now going. Stupid Kyle Megan right I now. Hey, you. you know what he you said? Nah, hey, if you listen to it, I guarantee your old lady love this what song. What did he say? I told I prob- he, he what said, did he say? He said, he said, man, you know, it's a good song, man, but I don't really like it. Yeah. I said, yeah, I mean, well, it's truth. Though. I didn't make it for you. <laughs> no, I get it, but, but, <laughs> but you got to respect my um, opinion on it. Though. I, I think I everybody think, got an opinion, but if the consensus, I think, I think it, that's the way it's supposed to be. Though I think you're supposed to have partners like that around to tell you what they do and do don't like. And that's it's not the same. It's not the same. What come? It's not come? the same. He be hating? Nah, I ain't gonna throw no hate. Yeah, hate he might be. Out. I don't know. I, I, I'm saying like, he used to be a rapper. This nigga. Now, think, wait a minute. This You're nigga. His last post on Instagram was April 20th. It's May. Damn. This nigga think that I'm supposed to make the music that cater to his lifestyle. That's what he nah. think. His nigga just asked me for a song that I ain't even released. Hey, man, send me that. I need that right now, today. Just for him to listen to. Because he come for you, his boy. It's, it's a different level right there. Man, he don't seem to think so sometimes. No, I think he I didn't got think mad at me before. That no, look, look, he didn't got mad at me before. I think that's a part of it. The point that I was making was, you know, I don't think that you have to just put it's quality over quantity. Uh uh-uh. uh yeah, 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 man. I think it's it's balancing. Well, you can have some yeah, balance in yeah, that too. You, you don't want to wait a year before you drop a yeah, song. Yeah, you, you, really you know what I'm saying? Really like you don't want to do that. You really have a master yet. Hey, at the same time, at the same time. What'd you say, Lily? I mean, yeah, you have a master yet. I haven't mastered. 
to uh, balance it. You ain't ma- well, you I ain't balance a lot of things though. You know, at the same time, I'm, I'm an engineer. You know what I'm saying? I I help a lot of East oh, Texas artists, artists yeah. with their music too. I didn't you know, know that. Yeah. We got a studio on Mount Pleasant Digiworks, man. And you're yeah. always helping the artists. Yeah. yeah. Who, who want, who's some of the hot artists that you're working with over there? I mean, I just uh, I just got through mixing the homie, another homie, Big Bag Tim Music. Okay. Uh, Keynote, we just got through. We finna roll his. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot of people, Shout man. Out. I just I, did. I met Big, Big just, Bag Tim. Yeah, that's the homie. Yeah, uh, cool cat. Man, I'm telling you, it's a, I, I don't want to get the name in and forget, but it's a lot of people, yeah. you know? Like, that's needed. It's like at least twenty artists that I'm working with. You that's know, dope. at the same that's time. Dope. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that's I think that's uh, uh, that's cool. But you still got to not course. forget about yours. Cause of course, that's nigga, the nigga balance. Nigga that I'm you'll end up becoming an engineer, and that's it. I just. <laughs> I mean, that, no, I mean, if you just keep doing like. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not trying to oversell it. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to. Come off air again. It ain't too many rappers that's gonna make better songs than me. Period. Right now, the thing is, I I need to do like what you said. Be more. If I'm not consistent with dropping the songs, I need to get on that social media platform. Yeah, and be more consistent with it. You know what I'm saying? It's never a conversation if the music is good or not. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, it's like people wanna like the homies in Houston. Hey, some of the homies in Dallas. Hey, you need to pop out, pop a run. My homeboy DJ Holly Grove, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you need to pop out this place, pop out that place, work these clubs, work these clubs. I get invited to this shit out of time and just be a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. hard for me to get on. Switch from daddy time, entrepreneurial time, rapper time. It's, it's a little so different when you're you rolling by it? yourself. What, what have you, you balanced like being a father and a rapper? Like, how do you how, how do you balance that? Shit, hold on, nigga, I ain't had nobody show me how to be the daddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I had to learn that. That's a you know what I'm saying? That's a hell of a statement. And either. then it's like, you don't know how to be a successful rapper until, uh, from nobody from East Texas until like right now. You know what I'm saying? You can look at it 10 years ago. I don't want to say 10 years ago. Years ago, you had people like EXO who had a great run, you know? But it seems like it's always something. We just now trying to get over the hump. You know, yeah, and yeah. that also tie into why I work with a lot of people from East Texas on the on the engineering side too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just you know, I think I hey, what guy got for you is gonna come regardless. I say that all the time. Um, but you know, like I said, down there it was a statement that Trill Talk No Pill Talk made uh, about I want to say uh, it was about nah, minutes second time here. He said get him ten rappers. From, uh, that was a year ago. Well, that was a year ago. Ten rappers from East Texas and ten rappers from Dallas and yeah, ten me and Killer Callion got into it about that. Did y'all? Yeah. And and what what did you think about that when he said that? Because I always wanted to know what the infrastructure thought. Uh, East Texas got some good artists. Okay. We got we got some artists that can go head to head with some Metroplex rappers. Oh, uh, and you stand on that. He the number it. the number is he the question. It. How he many? But we it. definitely got some. Yeah, we definitely got some. Hey, who would you pick? Just five. I'm gonna give you top five. My top five. My top five. Out of East no Texas. No order. No order. Okay. So when the homies look at this, yeah, I don't be. Don't, I ain't put it in no five. order. I gotta give you at least seven though, because we I got some. I don't want but five. I I can't answer. I'm gonna that. bring five too. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. No, nah, I'm cool. bringing. No, nah, I'm bringing five from uh, Dallas, nigga. What's up? Are we gonna smash that? Uh, no, and I'm bringing five from Houston. Eh? Are we gonna smash them? No. I got Ald. I got Tim. I got Kino. Uh, Shoes McGee. Uh, and who? Who I'm gonna choose to stick in this fifth slot? Man, just to be real, the youngster too, man. Uh, little brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think that's a hardcore five? Man, and just and to he be, left himself out. That's what I'm tripping on. Nah, that's understood though. I oh, mean, everybody top five, five from East Texas. Nigga, you, I'm talking about no, just five that will go against this hitter. I'm for the bottom. Well, be you can swap me out. Just you know, what I'm you know. Who, who, who name five? But you name your five, and probably your five probably know me too though. Just being uh, real, man. I ain't going. I ain't even play with it. I got to give me a Dallas. I, I'm bring me a Dallas person in here because I don't want to be biased. Nah, you said uh, you giving you me five, bro. Nah, I'm a, I'm yeah. a, I gotta get. Yeah. I gotta bring. I gotta let Dallas. Nah, do nah, you do it. Let me make a phone call. Nah, nah, you can do it right now. We don't need no phone call. Ain't no phone calls. We ain't gotta make no phone calls. Call my boy. Call Low Dizzy and see what he say. Who that nigga gonna tell me the five I need? 
I'd like to know who your five is. You it's think a, they can it, smash it, 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 This was crazy. His five, mine, completely different. Really? Yeah. Who would your five be? I would say, well, Al D would be in there. Hey, and I lift off smoother just because he didn't pop up in my head no, right now. No, no, no. Let me. No, no, it's over. Nah, it's I that, thought about it. It's over. K That's the only KD person. It's <laughs> over now. Nah. I say Al D smoothie. Yeah, you got your five. KD. Al D smoothie. KD. Uh, I would say. Uh, Rosama. Rosama. Who was that? Rosama. He from East Texas, but he ain't from like I in East Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, shout out to the home. Yeah. Um, who else would I put off in there? Um, I would throw uh, Terry Cherry in there. Ooh, you gonna throw a female in there? Cause one. she can do everything. Yeah, she is. Hey man, I stand on my five. Oh, look how he's. I stand on, on my five. Well, we needed ten anyway. That's why I want. I yeah, like. Yeah, that. but mm -hmm. it's it's. It, you gotta have some some versification in there. You can't. You can't even put Terry Cherry over over Joy. Really, just be Who's real. For uh, talent wise, Smitty Hawkins. I'm sorry. I'm you saying. Can't. I'm saying over all talent. She sing, yeah. you dance, can't even, rap, act, act, everything. Man, the whole package. I, man, uh, big booty bitch from the south. You go down. No, no, that's, no, 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 no. That's I'm gonna rock saying. hard anywhere. You talk, he ain't talking hey, about. He talking about. I'm more talking about everything. Yeah, yeah, that she, ain't what you asked do. me. You, you said, about you said five artists. Five artists. Yeah, five artists. Hey, you was talking about in a song for song aspect. No, nah, we just talking no, about. He just talking about artists. Just he just talking about overall yeah. talent. Oh, okay. It could be talent. You know, like like when that person show up. How the how the masses gonna you know pretty mm -hmm. much say hey this is the best best that we see uh, if a person came and he was putting putting a bag on him he gonna look at the overall artist like he's saying. Cause this the thing, look at you. you take, some, some but you talking about bars? Cause you a bar? Yeah, yeah, you, you talking about yeah, yeah. I see exactly what he's saying. Don't do that. No, you be spitting, man. One day, man. He all right. One day, I mean, he, right. he ain't Damn. all the way up to where he needs to be. Why this nigga hard on you? I'm just being real. Yeah, not, I'm just mean. being real. This I don't feel like he. I feel like he can. I feel like he don't do. He be holding back. That's how I feel like. I feel like he be holding back. You think he can be like? Yeah, I think he can be better. But I ain't nothing wrong with that. That should be got, a good you thing. You got a song with Derez Deshaun. Yeah. Yeah. And how did y'all end up putting that together? Man, I just shot in the dog, man. I just shot in the dog. Like, my nigga Keno will tell you, like, you know, one of my roughest years, like, how we did was listening to Derez Deshaun. I felt this pain. You know what I'm saying? So I tried to hit him up on the ground. I guess he didn't check his ground. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nigga never hit me. And then uh, I hit his cousin. I think it's his cousin who was just real close partner, Rocky, two times. You know what I'm saying? I hit him, sent him a song. And you know, they gave me a real cold situation on that song. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he been hitting me. He was just in Houston the other day. He asked me if I could come to Houston. I still, I looked at him, I was like, damn, nigga, I got the kids. I can't even just drive or come to Houston like that. But he, he we still supposed to do it though. You're a cool you cat. Know. You're a cool cat, man. Um, uh, PGF shout shout out. He yeah. he always asked me about you. We talked yeah. the other day, and uh, they best friend. That's his best boy. My yeah. son was with them last night too. Mm. He he shot me back. Trey shot me back to uh, pictures, and, mm. and he was like, I ain't say nothing to him, Dad. He I tell you offline yeah. why he was out there, nigga. But hell, boy, <laughs> he gone, man. Hey, man, for for an established. Orders from another state, cause mm -hmm. I get love in my state. But for somebody from another state to show me some love, you know, I ain't got nothing but great things to say about the nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause he ain't had to do it for real, for real. And he ain't had to keep up no rapport with me either. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. But he man. definitely won. He tapped into boss talk. That for dang sure. Yeah. And boss talk went out. We went down there and interviewed him and. Not only that, we had a good time, and then just because of the relationship yeah. me and Shout and them got, uh, that's probably one of the first places I check in when I go to ATL. I, yeah. ride, I ride with them boys. Like, I'm going to always go through see what they doing before I even make any other move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So them some good dudes, man. They always show love, too, when I come. They're going to open up a place for me. They're going to say, man, go over here. We got you this. And yeah. it's just love like that when I show up. So he, you right. He is, he is, they, they some real ones, man. That whole... Uh, PGF uh, oh, yeah, all click. All that whole PGF oh, yeah. clip click is uh, real ones, man. Oh, yeah. um, so, um, what do you what who do, who would you like to collab with, man? Like like next, I, on the next. code on the code, man. Like uh, I really done did out of collab and it. I really want to do for real. Who, you know you what I'm saying? You did something with Puka. Who else you done did stuff with? J Dog. J Dog. Oh yeah, I seen that one too. Me and Big Chief got one. 
Okay. C uh, Strokes. C rest in peace to the she, homie, man. Yeah, I, I brought his family on him. Did you see that episode when I brought his Nah? Brother? I, I brought his brother on here and gave him plaques, man. Yeah. He got one his last verse. You seen it then? Yeah, he got yeah, one. Yeah, I his got last his verse. I probably got his last verse. Like, well, I can't say that I don't know nah, for he sure. He did one in the hospital. <laughs> for real? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I almost lagged. I thought you were bullshit, nah. but now nah, that's crazy. That's why I said I can't say that because yeah. I don't know what his last verse. He did one the right before that time. You know what I'm saying? Cold nigga, man. I ain't even dropped that song yet. Never have dropped. I would, me and Puka were tired, and Puka was trying to lick me in with his brother or something. I, I was gonna just, I was just gonna send him the song. Who yeah. I was on the song? Just me, uh, just me, C. Strug, and uh, the homie J. List. His brother looked just like him. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. check that episode off when they was on. They was just about what, about three, four months ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Just always showing love to the people that that came and. Uh, you know that I can get to meet because I, I didn't have Boss Talk at the time. Right, so right. I want to try to link with the ones who really was who who made a difference, man. Those guys made a difference, and yeah, I heard man. nothing but good things about him. You know. Yeah. See, Strokes was real with me. It was real. So who else? I mean, like, who would you want to link with? Yeah. Like on a bigger level. If you had to pick anybody you want right now, you can get a song with. Who would you? Don't pick? say Drake, man. Nah. Uh, on the code. Why not? On the code. That's what everybody say. I mean, it's the honest truth. Really I mean, true. That's more than I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, for real. <laughs> Just because it'll go right with it. Like, Megan. You know what I'm saying? Like, Megan the Stag. She probably ain't gonna rock with you because I've been in a real call a lot on here. Yeah, that ain't got. <laughs> just messing with you, man. I talked to T. Ferris about a month ago. He was, he was just saying they was just in the middle of doing a whole bunch of deals right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When I had the idea of the song, but the song I got is kind of like uh, just you know paying credit to her for being beautiful, bad, and and brown. You know what I'm saying? And, so, and really, yeah. it's a sample on that beat, ain't it? It's sample. Yeah, it's a sample on there. Or oh, Twister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get it wet. Really? He got a song called uh, What Is It, Megan? Yeah. Yeah, the women love it, man. They making videos to us, sending me to us. Some TikTok? Nah, I ain't. Not okay. yet. Man, we, you know, we just discussed this problem, man. I'm slow rolling on that. See what I'm saying? Excuses, <laughs> excuses. <laughs> like assholes, everybody got them. Yeah, but but TikTok is the way it got to go. We got to go to but TikTok. But you think you going to see me on TikTok dancing? Not you. Nah, you, know you, can get females to, you can get females to dance right, to your song and everything. Hey, be safe, man. Right. I ain't like when when Megan dropped like for real. I uploaded on the DSPs and stuff like that, but I ain't even know that. I just seen a chick sent me a video. Hey, I love your song. I tripped out like damn this bitch. Mm. And then it just kind of like rolled like that. How did that happen? I don't know. Mm. You know, I was telling somebody. They said you know if people follow you on Apple Music, they can see when your music posts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. It's crazy. I'm talking about niggas think I'll be playing until I show them the messages. Like, bro, I don't know who these people is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They just took out to the song. So, you know, we're going to shoot the video today. Whoop de whoop or whatever. You Check that out, though. So, you, what inspires you uh, to keep doing this rap? Man. Like, I know it's kind of hard to stay motivated. Right now, I just got to, right now, I don't never lose motivation to rap. For real, for real. But right now, I'm just doing it. I started rapping. I started rapping. When I started rapping, it was for people who grew up like me. I had to reverse out my wrongs when I was 25, bro. Like, that's when I was really grown. I thought I was grown at 17. I ain't get grown till 25. So I did that music just, hey, nigga, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do this, this, that, and the other. You know, you can do this too. But right now, I'm just here to prove the point. Yeah. Everybody who don't believe, when I drop this next tape, they're gonna see. What's your favorite track off of? Shit, I'm in love with Megan, man. I'm in love with Megan. So that's your favorite track out of your whole Yeah, song. that's what I'm saying, bro. You asked me what's my favorite track. Yeah, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. That's what I'm saying. So that's your what's favorite. What's my favorite track? Do you think that's nah, what song your, do you what like? What would you say is your best song off of that end? That's the, that, you, everybody got a different perception of what's the best, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, right now, if I if you go to my top songs, you go to you go to Apple Music, look at my songs. There's gonna be a couple songs that pop up that it that the consensus think yeah. is the best. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about what. No, I'm saying off of is. your new album, like this yeah. coming out, like it ain't nothing else. Like a couple of those songs coming on there. Uh, yeah, man. There's a lot of artists y'all to name in their top ten. I just thought back about that. Yeah, you got Ro and you got Ro, uh, Ro Tarantino and you got uh, Camp. I stand on my Camp. team. Camp, you, you got, got Camp. Camp. I stand on my fire. You, 
Kim that's Nowhere. That's what I'm saying. That hey, let you know we got more. I'm not yeah. no hater though. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not no hater. Kim Nowhere is a vocally inclined. I just told you I thought about certain yeah. people that. That's what I'm but, saying. That that let you know right now. The East Texas got a lot of heat. For him to have his five minutes. Well, I ain't talking about 3G Slash. The guy that I come today, he from down there and he go hard. Hey, if you don't do nothing else, the fire that I named, if you ain't checked them out, really give them a chance, man. Yeah. Boys make good music. They they got, yeah, they just, if they talking loud, I'm going to see them. Maybe you gotta open your ass a little bit, man. No, I'm not going to look for They got to look for me, too. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you, you gonna see them if they working. Why do I see Smoothie all the time popping up? You tagging me? He tagged Hell, me. Yeah, that nigga in the algorithm, man. No, that he nigga, tagged me. That, that no, but a, he tagged me. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. These okay. niggas tag me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? It's a, it, it, it's certain niggas that tag a nigga like Seiko P gonna tag yeah. E. Mm-hmm. We ain't even yeah. say nothing. Seiko really got the uh, yeah, most soul out of them down saying. there. Like the, he got the numbers for sure. I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, Seiko. Then you he better be platinum. That's cool. Yeah. I'm just being real. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, if you got these, you got all of these. People. Hey man, KD AKA Flame man, Al D 300 man, That's Kino man, yeah. Bigger Bag Tim man, Hey and Shoots McGee man, and, and, and we gonna we gonna get them other boys. They shine too. Cam nowhere cold too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I said smoothie, didn't I? Mm-mm. Smoothie cold to the motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a that's what I'm all talking of, about. All of it, all of it. Like that ain't said. no personal preference. I'm talking about I really look at them niggas catalog, them niggas music. They got their own like cult following too. Mm-hmm. Like it's a reason why people fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I said smoothie in the algorithm. Hmm. You agree with him solely? What on everything he said? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I'm saying. It's so many people from East Texas that's rapping that's actually good. Like it ain't just like it, you can't say it's, it's some bullshit down there. Like I always say, it's, it's a name bunch of trash. Too? It's a bunch of trash. Like, <laughs> name, if you trash, you know who you is. Yeah, people know if they trash or not. Yeah. Oh, that's opinion too, though, because I, like I said, I mean that's that's true though. Because it, it might be a whole new lane. They might have a whole family. That's no, right. I just might that's like right. It. That's the get, one thing about this. You got to realize, guys. You can say and you can stand on what you believe in, and that's cool. But the mass is gonna speak. They gonna right, tell you right. what's good, and 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 that's what trips me out because we'll say like y'all probably wouldn't think what's the name. Little Earl might not be good. To y'all. I heard Little Earl. But, I'm just hey, but I didn't get on here saying nobody was no, trash. No, but I'm just saying I'm, like, I'm, I'm just trying to make a point. The mass not for is, you. I was saying for the people who people listen. Watching, yeah, but the mass is speak. Trash. You know, the mass is gonna tell you. So what I said it's some trash. Pop, it's some trash y'all forgot about Tay Money. And I yeah, get, nah, we got her too. Like I'm just you know, it's easy to forget because she done met her success. You get what I'm saying? So like. That's and how people I, always be like, oh, and, the, yeah. and the nigga Jared out of Long, you young G, you got to give him his credit yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? He got his own motion out there too. Yeah. Somebody, when you start dropping videos out the mud and they running 28,000 views, somebody watching, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's more people that, that you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. That's East Texas old. just need a little. It just need a little exposure, man. I feel like we could be the next hub. Well, I think you got. Well, what you think, the, Kyle, What What do you think, Kyle, need? Not to get you, I, where you know it's the crab in a crab in a crab in a bucket mentality. That's why I made sure I was trying to get some niggas some love because we don't really get that. You know what I'm saying? Sheldon Sheldon vibes too. You know what I'm saying? He called too. But like I think that's what it is. I think it's everybody's so concerned with getting there first that they they stopping other people from getting through the door. You know what I'm saying? Well, really, you just got to do your thing. Do you focus on doing your thing regardless? Be the best you could be regardless. Like the arm is like, you know what I'm saying? And you can't lose like that. You can't make no trash music if you putting your pain in there trying to be the best you could be. Somebody told me, uh, did, did Luce Ace drop another Yeah, he dropped a song the other day. Song the yeah. other day? Mm-hmm. He's still locked up. Yeah. But he got a lot of music. Yeah, yeah so he, he just drop them every now and then. Yeah. That probably, that's cool that, that he locked up and he still can do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was one more guy with them. Who was the four? On site. On site. How's he doing? Yeah, he's still rapping. He just dropped something. Okay. Yeah. I'm just asking, you know, I don't know what's going on down there. That's why you here. You both tell yeah. me that stuff. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on. It just, man. I think y'all don't give yourself enough credit. Who the hell? Because ain't nobody else doing nothing in, in other places either, you know? So yeah. I That's think a real. lot of time y'all tripping, yeah, nah, man. Nah, nah, I really do. Like, That's real. Like, you got to think about I, what I say yeah. when we first started. If you don't think it, who going to think it? Right, yeah. right, right. Nigga, right. I'm cold, nigga. I'm the best in the South. 
Yeah. Period. Second and I just start doing this. Second yeah. bitch. I like your energy, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. I, yeah. I be wanting to laugh, but I don't be it's wanting to be truth. offensive. No, it's hey, the you truth, be, though. Yeah. Like, who else doing it like that? Like, done did it in this short amount of time, put up almost uh, almost a thousand videos in almost a, a year and three months. Yeah. Who did that? It's crazy, man. You, know, you got some good it. content to and, and it's real, and it's in LA. It's two times in LA, two times in Vegas, two times in but, Houston, but I'm two times in Atlanta. See, see. Two times in, uh, I'm about to go to Waco. I'm going with High Boy West now in, in a couple of weeks. And uh, Waco Tron now. I'm finna come back to East Texas. Me and you, you, that's your fault if I don't make it down there. But at nah, the end of the put day, that on me. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he, all you gotta do is tell me where so we at. And in. I'm there. You, but the nigga ain't, he ain't, he ain't gave me the open gate. I gotta, not, I gotta check in and come home now. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah, you definitely gotta check in. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but boy, listen, man. That boy Lou say, I ain't said to run too, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah like he was nobody. here. We had him on here. He was a. He, he actually. Uh, I talked to him. Um, shout out to that boy Trill Talk. No Pill Talk for pretty much saying, "Hey man, go on the interview him." He he told me to interview him. It's up Trill Talk. Trill Talk the one calling the shot. So you know when somebody don't get to come on time or nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's where it coming from. So anyway, he told me he shot the name, and I said, "Yo, let's, let's tell a nigga to come see me." Like I told you about him a long time ago. Yeah, and then you didn't bring him, but it's cool though. He's here nah, today. I'll see. You see, know what I'm saying? That out. See, because when I got interviewed last time, he called and interrupted my interview. Damn. You don't know remember? He interrupted my interview. It was like, how he ain't been I, on here. Can I say something about that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Can I say something about that? Yeah, you can say something about that. I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to keep well, this listen short. Man, go ahead. Hey, man, I don't expect, I don't expect everybody to know me. You feel me? I said something because it's like, it's crazy. I know you know poker. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know you know. Poker ain't never been on here. Not that, not because of that. I'm just saying, like, you know, just if you're aware of certain people, like, mm -hmm. I just be thinking, like, I I don't watch every episode, but I can tell what kind of content. If I watch somebody that you come on, on your platform with, I'm going to be aware of them. So I'm like, man, how do you niggas on? Hey. No, I enjoy my people, man. Like I said, I'm one of them guys, man, that if if I'm able to get a good, you know, I really like to see the projects coming from down there, to be mm -hmm. honest. I done had a lot of people on here just once, and they don't come back, to be honest with you, because I'm waiting on the project to come back out. Yeah. And then they don't come out. I can tell you, I can name them. There ain't no project came. It's been almost a year. Name them. But do it, do it pose to be a year? Name them. Nah. HB hit me up the other day and told me, like, man, I got one for the come. But I ain't heard from him no more. Yeah. Uh, what I'm telling you is, if if you're doing this, then when you put something out, you definitely sh you should be tagging me. We already locked in. Right. If you leave here today and you don't tag me, Trill Talk got to tag me, nigga. You don't want it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be back on here for sure. Cause you don't want me to see it. You know what I mean? But if we locked in, we locked in. If I'm following you, you follow me. You tag me. Say, hey, eat this here. Check this out. What do you think I'm gonna do? And niggas do that from. Louisiana, these niggas from other states doing this to me now. Yeah. So it's really crazy because they've been on here before. You know what I mean? Shout out to that boy. It's a dude named Paco in New Orleans. Nice, bro. Y'all might know him. He had a song on World Star. Mm. He, under, he under KL, KLC. I have to check him out. Check him out, man. He, he real cool. I was with him like two weeks ago. I was down in New Orleans. So what, um, with far as the music go, okay, um, back to the music. Where, well, how do you feel about the, just the state of hip hop as a whole right now? Like how everything going, like you know, like you got the Young Thug them situation. So it's kind of looking like that drill rap finna have to kind of slow down a little bit if they're gonna be using them lyrics against people. That shit ain't gonna slow down. That shit, you don't think so? shit been going on since hip hop been going on. So how do you feel about since the fuck rap? the police? Nah, since nah, gangster nah, rap nah, in the nah, West Coast. Nah, that's completely different. Nah, it's not the same content. When the West Coast was breaking in the nineties, that we, we, they weren't talking. They weren't, the they weren't ring around the posy rap. No, they, was they weren't. They weren't shit. talking about specific situations. Half the niggas that was rapping back then was that's capping. some new. That's, uh, Half of the niggas back then was capping. Tupac was capping. All them niggas was capping. Man, that's where you want to go with it. That's I ain't a fact. To, that's a fact though. I'm saying Tupac didn't have a criminal record until he got. A, a number one chart, a number one chart of song. So you asking That's what me, I'm how do I feel about reality rap? Yeah, it's like shit they take, not put so much into the rap. Like so what you saying, homie? Like okay, like you got Thug you know, them right now. <laughs> like you got Thug them talking all this. No, you I'm know. talking about Tupac. What young, he young wasn't, What you saying? He, he wasn't. wasn't he wasn't doing. He wasn't talking about his life. He was talking about what he's seen other other people do in his life. It's a difference from I don't know getting what, on the mic I, and saying you really. I really don't know what that man was talk, doing, this, bro. Talk, this ain't yeah. man. That's what I'm finna say. This ain't to you, but what I'm saying is I don't know what the, I know. That nigga stomped the shit out that nigga in that casino. Yeah, yeah. I know. No, no, shot, no, no, I know no, he no. shot two off <laughs> duty police yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, I know he was yeah, I'm just trying to figure but out what I'm saying. He just all of a sudden 
wasn't able to. He said he met some biggie wife. He lied. It's no, we don't know that. We don't know that. That's a he damn lie. He got a picture with Faith. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you I don't know what that man did. I got a picture with. I got a picture with a lot of celebrities. That don't mean, bro. It's not about it's that um, on, on me. That wasn't directed towards you. I'm saying like people be making these narratives and, and running with them. Y'all don't know what the fuck Tupac was doing. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what nobody. How come was we doing? don't know? You, Tupac went to art school. Tupac wasn't out here slide. Yeah, I, I know was. a lot. Yes, of, he was. Hey, he I, was slide. Yes, he bro, was. Hey, bro, I know a lot of smart ass niggas that'll get so on a nigga bumper. So y'all man, telling me man. that Tupac? <laughs> Tupac G, was more. Shock G, so you telling me Tupac? Something on your panties said when he met Tupac. Early on, when he was doing all that day, he still was the type of nigga wear his clothes three times days in a row, have guns in the I house. Underst- I understand all that. All that. This nigga all was that. a real cat, man. Man, I understand. I'm just all laughing that. at you showing your age, talking about Shock G lyrics. That's that's my, no, because because I met Shock G. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Look, you yeah. see that wall up there? A lot of them niggas dead and gone. They ain't even here no more. If you look at Ed Hardy, he ain't up there. He he over there, but he might be behind somebody. But a lot, some of them niggas gone. But what I'm saying yeah. is, you know what I'm you saying? You cannot compare. I hustle, bro. You cannot compare '90s rap to the rap now. It's completely different. It's completely different. Not completely different. Yes, it is. You got you got niggas actually incriminating themselves. Content is themselves. content. Nah, it like ain't fully incriminating themselves in these. You rap. talking about talking about uh, putting that pistol on them? Like talk everything. Like they telling everything they do really. To answer your question, to answer your question, bro. I think now it's just, you know, they whenever they started talking about the hip hop police, I think niggas just started focusing in on a way to get these high profile cases. That's what I think, bro. You feel me? Cause to say that niggas wasn't talking about. So you don't think niggas telling on, on themselves? Niggas been telling on themselves since the old story. Name, 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 name me three or four rappers that told on themselves back in the day. Name one. Name one that told on themselves. I'm not gonna, gonna do that. What I'm saying is it would be crazy to think that nobody told on themselves what you kind of telling on yourself in the nineties. That would be crazy. You feel me? Nobody did that. Well, it's a fact, though. You can't, cause you can't <laughs> prove it. You just, you just said you couldn't prove it. You can't yeah. name one rapper that was back in the day that was talking about, like, that literally talked about everything he did. Like, just take the YMW Melly situation. If he did, if he really, if he found guilty to that and he really did all that stuff that he rapped about in Murder On My Mind, then ain't nobody ever did nothing like that. Yeah, he's a bitch ass nigga. He gonna kill your partners and make a song about it? I don't know. Uh, I, I I really don't. Yeah, niggas was moving different back then because they didn't tell on themselves. Exactly. That's but all. But at saying. the end of the day, you know, um, these young niggas today, man, they're a product of their environment. Niggas like you know the ones who was born before them didn't do right. That's why they end up locked up and going to jail for yeah, you crack have to blame and all the that. You know what I'm saying? You got to blame I know, the generation. That's what happened. Yeah. You know, it, it's really, it's sad because mm-hmm. now they'll talk about them and they ain't talking to them. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these big homies, nigga, some of these high up echelon niggas. They ain't that, big homies. I mean, I'm talking about, I, hey man, it can be Jay, it could be any of them niggas, man. If you see somebody going through it, I, I hope they got secret tunnels that they can holler at somebody and try to make things right with the people that they connected to because that's what we here for, man. Yeah. I'm being real. That go for everybody, you know each what I'm one, saying? Each one, each yeah. one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I think, you know, a lot of times, you know, you 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 will hear this even with, with Jay Prince. Like, you 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 see a sort of structure there where people respect yeah. him and they're not going to do certain things because of the respect they have for Jay. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. in these certain cities, like, that, you need that, man. If you don't have that, that's probably why a lot of times we talk about, like, East Texas and we talk about different cities, like even in, in Philly or wherever. Where, where's, where's the big home at? Where's the one who we really, where are, you know, the record labels at? Where are the people that structure that, that get that respect in these, now, in these, in these places? Boss Talk you know what I mean? people, right? No, no, not, not really. I mean, we, we rock with everybody. We try to help everybody. But mm-hmm. I really, to be honest with you, I don't want to sign a nigga to nothing. I'm gonna put, if I help you, I help you. It's a lot of niggas. I done put thousands of dollars on, mm-hmm. gave them thousands of dollars and didn't get nothing back for it in return but the satisfaction of doing it. You know what I'm saying? I done done that already. So, at the end of the day... What they have to do? What, what was you going with no, that? No, because he <laughs> said something. No, he talked about the label thing. I mean, no, well, but like signing artists. About, he was talking about I got artists. a lot of people that's like around me right He was talking about hip-hop artists, so I asked him yeah. would he be interested in signing them. Sign, sign a nigga I don't sign him. Yeah. Make I, content like that? Yeah, I don't... Well, sign a nigga to, to, to help him with his rap career or mm-hmm. sign a nigga to, But that ain't what I'm into right now. I'm just trying to figure out a way to fill the foundation. I can tell you there's some big stuff coming to where... Uh, when we make moves, and you already know a little yeah. bit about it, I ain't gonna mm-hmm. talk about it, yeah. you know, just yet until we get it done. Yeah. But it's gonna make it to where it's gonna make this whole plan feel different in the South. 
I've been talking about it a lot. I was talking about it with Larry Rubin and him last night. Like, it's going to change the way y'all being looked at right now. And I'm putting money up for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and ain't, ain't, it's yeah. major. It's major. Am I going to get something out of it? The satisfaction of seeing people get noticed. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In a different way that we don't have that. We're not afforded the opportunity right now in the South. You know what I mean? People Things got, come with time, though. Well, you know, I feel it, like in a couple exactly. years, I feel like in a couple years, things will look different. Oh, they and will. has no choice but to, you know. What do you see it in, ten, in like, say, two or three where, years? Where I'm based at? No, nah, like East Texas. Yeah, the that's beauty. what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, East yeah, Texas. Saying, where would you see it at? I feel like you got to look at, you got to look at where we at now. It's, a, it's so many artists from East Texas that I already have networking relationships with artists, industry artists, artists with way bigger platforms than what we have, and they showing niggas love right now. You know what I'm saying? We done had... A few niggas with like real situations. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This is Ireland, like 24 months. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, how does that not keep going? You know what I'm saying. That's gonna, regardless how that pans out for them people, that's gonna make other people more hungry. Yeah, and regardless if your list was valid or my list was valid niggas yeah. got 14 15 niggas that they could really exactly. say hey man these niggas got music exactly. bro you know what i'm saying so i feel like i know it i got my hands on too much just the music you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying i got my hands on too much music from too many people you know what i'm saying ro tarantino was just in the studio he, me and Ro Tarantino ain't cool like that, but I'm listening to his music. I'm like, man, this nigga really got something on here too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, oh no, I'm usually you. You know that I'm usually spot on with shit like yeah. that too. Niggas don't like to give me that credit, but I'm usually spot on with that, man. It's too much. It's if anybody with a business sense, man, you know, you. This is this is this is soul that needs to be cultivated out here. The problem is the people. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily all, it's just the people they around. You know what I'm saying? That's explain, what I'm explain, explain, keep going. I ain't, you see? Well, <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just know, like I said again, um, I don't look at it the way everybody else look at it. I don't look at it from an East Texas stand, standpoint. I, you know how I look yeah. at it. I don't look at it from a Dallas standpoint. You look at it from a Texas I, I look at No, I look at it from a South. Yeah. I want it to feed from up, from down here up. Right, Because right, right now it feeds from up to down. From the west coast down, from the east coast down, the way it feeds. You got people here, but the mate they go to they go to New York to, to sign their deals, and a lot of times if they go to Atlanta, it's because they connected to somebody in New York. So I'm looking at something totally different, bro. Even in that sense, though, like how they run it through Atlanta. Yeah, somebody get some paper out there. No, you know they get paper, like, but they all go back to the same central location. They all, when you look at the, when you start looking at hip hop, even even Birdman and them, it's the thing where they universal. They go, I'm telling you, I know what's going on with the money. Where these big bag coming from? Yeah. So we got we got, but we got money and we got situations here too. And and that that thing started up there, but at some point when you raise something, it's supposed to take off on its own, right? We, we got some solid businessmen down here. I'm an engineer with companies that, a uh, uh, billion dollar company, bro. I'm, being, I'm dealing with a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? I know that it can happen down here if we decide that we want to come together and do it with the right individual. And it, don't, and, it, and, it, and it transcends color too. It's not just about color. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It's yeah. about business. At the end of the day. Ain't no color in business. Building a foundation. You know what I mean? You got Robert Smith here, you know. Robert Smith, the richest black man in 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 in, in America, he right in Austin. Mm. It's stuff like that. Like if you can, he, he don't and he don't rap. He don't play basketball. He, he's a he's a he's a bank investor. Uh, 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 so he started with software. You can look him up. He the one. Yeah. He he uh, gave forty million dollars to uh, Morehouse. That's and, dope. Yeah, for the for the kids to graduate in twenty nineteen. So when you start looking at stuff like that. You know the resources are he here. He gave back to his people too. That's yeah, even dope. and then he built. Uh, he gave twenty twenty two million to the place I went to in D.C. Uh, to make a museum. For well, I don't know that money ever trickle down to the hood though. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think when you look at it, it can. I, uh, ain't I, I think I, I, I ain't think it does that. too. I think there's ways where it does trickle down. I don't think that he don't, he wouldn't help. It does trickle down when he go and pay that forty million to people who went to college. That's yeah, you black. give him you give him work you give him work he took away student loans. Yeah, no, he yeah, took man. away everything. Like that's what people be. See, see how people suffer like, buying student loans and yeah. all kind of stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying like, 
And some of them niggas came from the hood. But I'm saying, <laughs> am I right? Them kids that went to Morehouse, them yeah. kids mm-hmm. ain't come from no. These are black kids, Historical man. Historical black kids. Exactly. <laughs> so he he gave in that way. You know what I'm saying? But Oprah went out and bought cars for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't do that though. Cause Oprah, fed, Oprah fed the world. Oprah played. Oh, Oprah, <laughs> Oprah actually fed. Chicken. Oprah paid also into that museum. She didn't pay as much as chicken. Uh, right. She gave chicken. <laughs> Oh, hey man, you know how many people have a dollar in their pocket that they ain't went to KFC or something? Yeah, uh, hey, boy, I, I didn't get to eat that day. I wish I'd have knew. When did this album? Well, I got now, this one. Right right you think KD can freestyle him? Who? Think he can give us freestyle? Yeah, hell yeah. Bro, I'm gonna grab it. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, come on. Come on. Check it, man. Your boy KD, right, man. Here, man, about to drop. Yeah, man. He's about to go down. He's taking to the building. Nigga, I ain't trying to find a witness. Lately, I've been minding bidding. Shining like I'm walking out the Diamond District. Niggas talk crazy until they see you. This that generation. Big 40, big dick. She itching for penetration. Pals, nigga. Living in the world where they idolize women in their trials, nigga. I'm looking at my daughter just praying that she got God with her. Wild, wild west, nigga. Or oh, I beat a harpo. I just hit the city to catch a player. Well, small go Getting money is out and I know. Uh. Bitch with a voice so sweet, she can probably scam the city with her eyes closed. Another one is thick, and you can see her from my side post. He's kissing in his bitch, I get it jumping like a side post. Man, hold on, hold on. Man, hold on, man. Stop playing, man. Say, man, uh, yeah, man, just one of the dopest artists that we done really, you know, had to come out of East Texas, man, and come bless our platform, man. Just love the way the vibe went, man, with the freestyle, man. So, man, just what what, what mode do you go into when you start to just rap, man, and just bring it like you just brought it? Uh, just, the, just the energy, just the energy of the music, man. Like, I just try to give people something they can feel, you know? Like, a lot of people, they work out the music. A lot of people, they be in the core riding the music. I just try to give them something they can feel. Like man, that's, that's man, it. definitely enjoyed it, man. So, what, what did you think about it? Pretty good, man. You know what I'm saying? He's you still hard kinda, on that nigga, ain't He kind of still, you know, uh, you know. Is he one yeah. of the 10, like you said, for yeah, real? Yeah, he one of the 10. But, you know, he just I just got to stay on him. He kind of. Okay. He kind of hard hit it. The gatekeeper has spoken. Yeah. East Texas gatekeeper in the building. Man, God got me, man. I'm going to be straight. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to open the gate for him. Hey, look. Hey, <laughs> look, man. Hey, look, man. Me doing what I do is the reason anybody know me. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Well, we so, just, we it's look- got to be okay. You feel right. me? We got big love for you, man. Thank you for coming on the show. Man, I appreciate Say, you, what's man. your top three artists hey, all the time? My top three, three artists. Oh, hold on. Dead or alive. In the jungle. Yeah, man. My top three Number artists one. all the time is 903, man. Shout out to Triple G, Taylor and ENT. Uh, 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 crowns and okay, Bigger Bang Corporation. Three, three, nah, nah, man, it's East Texas, listen, man. That's nah, out of all nah, Top three, three all the time. You got to do that. Every, yeah, every time somebody does come, that. they got to do that. You got to get your top three people. Top Pimp three. C. Hey, Pimp there it is. Stop right there. Now they don't be good. That's all you had to say. Pimp right C there. is actually my favorite, for real. Uh, See, that's real, bro. Yeah, he uh, mine too. Uh, but Tupac was still capping. Nah, don't do that, bro. Let me get my other two orders when you start there, bro. Don't do that, bro. Number two. Niggas love Tupac, man. Number uh, two. DMX. DMX gonna DMX. be number two. And then Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Hey, man, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to, you know, get in contact man, with I'm re- you? Man, I'm back on Instagram, KDA, AKA Flame, uh, on everything. That's that's what it is on everything, man. Just holler at me for anything. Say, man, we love you, bro. Man, Appreciate I you. love y'all too, man. Say, yeah, man, man. Shit, and we real with three, boss man. talk, you know what I'm saying, one-on-one where the bosses talk. No, we're not going to do that, bro. <laughs> and we out. <laughs> Hey man, check it, man. It's been another great segment. Check it, man. Not that right there. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 with yeah, a boss. Check it, man. We out.